Right, morning guys. I'm gonna show you how to how I start my morning and my levels. So obviously some of my tools I use are paid platforms, but I'm gonna show you how to do it um or some of it uh which is really helpful um for free. So I just wanted to show you this is I mean I made a video yesterday, so we're on the thirty minutes here. So they, there's the previous day I so I haven't started this morning. This is still yesterday's levels. So that was of the day before. And look how well that was respected. So I'm going to show you how to put that level in. And then it was obviously taken from there was the previous day's high two days ago. And here's the previous day low. So look, last night we found support here. Uh, another level we found support was this VWAP, uh, anchored VWAP. And it comes from that low, the one that I kept on saying in the videos that I missed that that long from there. So maybe confluence here from the previous day low and the anchored VWAP. So we're really important levels that and the VWAP, this anchored VWAP you can also um not hundred percent sure but I'm sure you can get that on the free version of of trading view. I know you just can't save everything but you I'm sure you get ac access to it. I think there's a limit of um how, um, how many um indicators you can have here but these tools I'm sure you can use them all day on the side here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna hide that because I want a nice and clean chart. Before I hide everything, I had a weekly year and a value area high. So that value value area high is of the of the range we're in. I'm not gonna waste time to go back to that as well. Um maybe I should before I clean it or hide all of this. Um, I think it's that one. Yeah, there's the value area high. So uh, we can also update that today, but yesterday that was relevant. So this is also something you can use as this um, fixed range tool. So from where we dropped into the zone up to where we were yesterday, there was my point of control. Remember, there was a lot of um, confluence levels there. So really, really strong level there. So I feel still safe in my trade. My trade is from there, so that's why I keep my stop loss at my entry. So I can't lose anything from this trade. I've gained a lot. I've taken a lot of profit up there. So that, that's also a reason why a good entry is so good. Because if I missed that and I entered there, I would have been stopped out last night. Although I would have also taken profit, but I mean, but uh, that entry would have been really super. Okay. So let's just, um, so in the mornings what I do, I'll look at this fixed range as well. Not necessarily in this sequence, but I just want to do it before I um, s hide all these levels. So that level is still perfect, that level has probably moved slightly down. No, it was still good. And uh, the bottom one, I'm, I've just hidden it. Uh, it's also moved a little bit up to there. Alright, so I'll get back to those later on. I'm just going to hide it for now. Let's just zoom in here. Um, so previous month levels, I'm just going to... Yeah, everything is just too much on the chart. Previous week levels. The higher time frame levels. Also going to hide that. So before I hide that, it's very, I've showed that in one of my previous videos. So I'll go every morning. I'll also go on the daily. You see there why I have to hide all the levels, it just becomes too busy. So yesterday is high there, so I can't use this level because this day is still forming, so it can go down and then there won't be a level. But there was a, a daily level yesterday. So what I'll do is I'll just use, hmm, where can I use a, another level, I can copy that level there. Um, then you switch on your magnet and you bring it, it jumps onto there, so it's fine. So that's how you, and then you go onto the weekly. So once a week on Monday morning, I'll go onto the weekly and I'll do exactly the same there. But during the week, it's only the daily that changes here. And now I'm going to show you how to get the daily, um, your daily levels from your previous day levels. So I'm just going to switch off all of this. So we. I'm just going to leave on the pre uh, previous day levels. I'm take on the session naked point of controls. 
and then make it work right. This is all we're left with. I'm also going to remove that Fibonacci. So we've got a nice clear, and then also got this tip from someone. I don't use these bars, but it's a bit cleaner when you when you do the levels. Um, the first one is my previous day high, so that was two days ago. Now the previous day is this one. So I'll take the high and I'll take it to that. Let's just do the daily open first to get it out the way. So the daily open is obviously uh, uh, where it started on the left hand bar there. And then the daily high will be right at the top. Sorry, you must have the magnet on. Okay. There, right. So the we're just going to leave the others there first. But what we are can also do is the previous day equili equilibrium, that PDEQ, that you can do by using a Fibonacci from the bottom to the top, and then you just take a st the standard. Uh, where's that standard Fibonacci? And then the 0 0.5. So now I'm going to take the equilibrium. Just put it anywhere here, and then I'm going to four enter that level four double three double eight, four double three double eight, four double three double eight, and that's the um, midpoint of uh, yesterday's of the day. Um, and then I can just delete that. Oops, that was wrong. Not the level. I want that in. Just check that again. Four double three double eight. Okay, I want to del delete the Fibonacci. So the only th the two levels I can't um, you can't do for free is the previous day value area low and the previous day value area high. So what I've decided is if well not many people watch my videos, but if there's a response and people do watch it. I'm prepared to do these short videos every morning to put these levels in for you to test. Um, so I'm reading it off my other chart, 42349. 42349. That's the previous day value area low. It's really close to the to the daily low. Mm, previous day value area high. Let's just put it in there. And that's four three seven one four. Four three seven one four. Four three seven one four, right. And that's there, and then the point of control yesterday, that's where most of the volume happened. That will come in. Oof, no, I just gotta look at the other chart and find that level. It's hidden behind another level. That's forty two seven hundred. It's forty two seven hundred, right. So these are levels. Um, I should have showed you on yesterday the the previous day equilibrium is also quite an important level. There was some reaction there yesterday. Okay, then I just change it back to the candles. And I'll go back to thirty minutes. And there you have your level. So really important this previous day value, uh, previous day low, and the value area low, and obviously the daily open you'll have, you'll see some reaction from, and the previous day high, and the equilibrium. So uh, where did the day start? Oof, where daily open it started? Yeah, yeah. And then another thing that I would also activate is that VWAP. I'll activate on my. Um, on my chart, you will always see uh, it always reacts from the VWAP. So it goes through, comes back, retests, and look at that bounce up there. Uh, this morning as well, just bouncing off the VWAP. Um, I wouldn't. So that could have been a small a scalp trade if you found that right there. Uh, let's just see if that was big enough. I need a hundred. Yeah, I need a hundred dollars more or less average. There's already 184, so that was already a trade this morning. Just those little bounces. But uh, just want to warn against scalping. That's uh, you got to know what you do. So I wouldn't recommend that for someone. But uh, the VWAP is a really good confirmation. If you've got other levels that you want to take a long off, you can wait for it to bounce to get above the VWAP because that that's bullish. If it's under the VWAP and you want a long, that's quite dangerous. And the same for shorting. And just want to show you the settings, but I think that's a standard setting. 
uh, on the an an uh, not anchored VWAP, but it's a, it is also an anchored VWAP, but it's on session. It must stay on session. Right, that's it. Um, hope you guys have a lovely day. Cheers.